Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming, tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off talking about the MIG Switch flash card, and people have started to receive their flash card, and it turns out it actually works. And we've got some information on their game dumper. So the MIG Switch team says the whole reason for the delay of the dumper is because of a chip shortage, and the price of the dumper is the exact same as the MIG Switch flash card. It will be shipping in February. Pricing for the MIG Switch flash card is kind of all over the place, depending on where you see it online. On MIGSwitch.store here, the flash card is priced at $58.99. And the dumper and flash card combo is priced at $125. Alien Retro Gaming already has their hands on a MIG Switch flash card. I'll drop a link to this video in the description below and you can check it out. The video itself is pretty interesting. He tests out the flash card in a whole bunch of different scenarios and it seems to work and it seems like it's pretty straightforward. And on top of that, they've got a secondary video showing how to set up the MIG Switch flash card and a Q&A. I do think this one's worth checking out as well and he mentions a few times that there is a big chance if you use one of these things, your Switch is going to get banned. I'm not going to lie here. The whole banning subject has been talked about quite a bit online and someone says looks like we've got confirmation that nintendo is banning game card certificates i would argue that nintendo is paying very very close attention to the mig switch flash card and i would say anyone using one of these and connecting their switch to online services in any capacity is kind of playing with fire i am also going to assume that nintendo is probably trying to get their hands on one of these things to find out how they work and to find out how to ban them they appear to be encrypted, which may take Nintendo some time. So I guess who knows what the future of the Mix Switch flash card is going to entail. All I know is right now, in theory, if it works on the Nintendo Switch and that Switch was never updated, it was never connected online ever again. Chances are it would continue to work, but I could be wrong. But moving on, and next up, we're talking about Saturn Bomberman Fight. For no surprise here, the Sega Saturn, this game was released back in 1997 and there's a brand new patch that improves the quality of life on this game. So this game has three stages that can be unlocked in battle mode, but you need a special controller, and this brand new fan patch removes the need for that special controller. So if you wanted to learn more about this one, I'll drop a link to the forum post in the description below, and feel free to check it out. And speaking about checking stuff out, next up we're talking about Ioneo. And Ioneo has just launched their AMO2 Indiegogo page. At a high level here, the AMO2 is a mini PC that looks like the NES, and it's got a display on the top. It's powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS. The bare bone edition is 479. The one with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage is 599. And the top of the line version here is 699 with 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. I'm assuming performance is going to be comparable to the ROG Ally, but I could be wrong. Realistically, this looks like a pretty cool mini PC, but let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Moving on, and we're quickly talking about one of my favorite third-party controller manufacturers, 8-Bit Doe. And 8-Bit Doe just posted this news that I think a lot of people are going to be excited about. They say they've upgraded their 8-Bit Doe Ultimate 2.4G controller with the innovative Hall Effect joysticks. It's about time. So if you are in the market for one of the 8-Bit Doe Ultimate controllers, just make sure it says Hall Effect Joysticks on the Amazon listing. Personally, I prefer the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2, but that's just me. Unfortunately, this one does not have Hall Effect Joysticks yet. Next up, and no surprise, we're talking about more layoffs, and CI Games has just announced a 10% layoff of their staff. This is the company behind Lords of the Fallen, and they join a whole bunch of other companies this year and also last year with layoffs. If you don't believe me, Kotaku is reporting that over 3,100 layoffs have already been announced this year. I'll drop a link to this article in the description below. Now, I'm not starting conspiracy theories and saying AI is going to be replacing jobs, but interestingly enough here, VGC is reporting that nearly 50% of developers say generative AI tools are being used at their workplace. This survey was conducted at GDC, which stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Game Developers Conference, depending on how you want to interpret that. 
and over 3,000 developers were surveyed. So let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Do you think AI is eventually going to replace developers? Moving on, and I've got another quick one for you. This time we're talking about Grand Theft Auto V on the PS4 and Xbox One, specifically. If you're playing GTA V on PS4 or Xbox One, Rockstar just announced they're shutting down Rockstar Editor as of February 20th of this year. Additionally, it's worth pointing out they say all clips or projects will be deleted on February 20th, 2024 when Rockstar Editor is removed from these platforms. So if you've got clips saved on there, you may want to back them up. Moving on, and we're talking about a couple of ROM hacks. The first one here is from Megami Tensai on the MSX. This game was released back in 1987 and just got a brand new English translation. This translation is not only for the text, but also for the graphics. And the second ROM hack is also an English translation, and it's an English translation of the Bard's Tale for the NES. Now this one is super interesting because there's two different versions here, the Famicom Japanese version of the Bard's Tale and the NES version of the Bard's Tale, and both games are the same but also different. The North American version of the game is half the size of the original. A lot of the content was cut or altered. So the Japanese version of the game has been translated to English. If you've played this game in the past in English, playing it now in English with this translation may result in a bit of a different experience. Next up, we're talking about Persona 5, and I'll drop a link to this tweet in the description below, and I'll read it verbatim because it's super interesting. The most insane thing has just happened. Someone dumped an early version of Persona 5 dating half a year before the Japanese release. It contains so much, early songs, early models, PVO2 last surprise. And this, an early version of Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There. Listening to both versions of the song back to back is, I don't want to say surreal, but it's very interesting how they started with something and ended up with something else. And I don't think either version of the song is bad. And speaking about early development stuff, next up we're talking about Visions of Mana. And they just dropped a six minute video for the game overview. There's some gameplay, there's some development stuff, and there's also some talking. And speaking about talking and early development, next up we're talking about Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Bethesda just dropped a 13 minute video on it. Both Visions of Mana and Indiana Jones are set to be released this year. And last up here, if you're interested in some easy reading, I'll drop a link to this article in the description below. It's emulating the GBA wireless adapter because yes, that's a thing. All of this is done in RetroArch through the GBSP core and I would say the end results are pretty impressive. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and one fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.